Hello and welcome to Maynard Jangling TV. Today we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to make up a few basic type of uh, traces for pike fishing. You know, the products I'm going to use are the products I use myself, which is the, the full range of Fox products. We get a lot, a lot of lads coming into the into the shop who are new to the sport, and you know, but they still have this sort of, I don't know, I don't know if it's fear is the right word or whatever, of actually making their own traces. So they tend to buy shop bar traces. Now, Shop bar traces and uh, you know the the latest ones now are pretty good, especially the Fox, the the um, the Pike Pro stuff like that. They're, they're pretty well made, but me personally, I think they're too short. I prefer a longer trace. I'm I'm just going to make up a couple of basic rigs here. I'm going to make up an, uh, an up trace. I'm going to make a standard, what we would call a standard uh, Pike trace, where the hooks will be approximately three to four inches wide or apart. And I'm going to make up another trace, a small trace system, which can be used to get you out of situations where you have short baits, long baits, and you don't have the, the, the right trace made up to sew. I'll explain that in more detail as we go on. But for the moment, I'll just go through the basics of product of what we're actually using, right? The Carboflex. You know, Carboflex, I use the 20 pound. I just think it's, it's more supple. I normally, I would, with ordinary wear, with seven strand or any other sort of stranded wear, I would use a twiddling me mechanism or a twiddling system as opposed to using crimps. But since I started using the Carboflex, I've had absolutely no problem with crimping at all, and it's much quicker, much tidier, and much better setup. So we have the 20 pound Carboflex. We have the crimps to match the diameter of the Carboflex. So if you're buying 20 pound Carboflex, make sure you get crimps to match the 20 pound and 30 pound and 40 pound and so on. Then I'm using uh, basic sort of barrel swivels, but what I like about these is again, they're from Fox. You have a round end and you have a sort of a pointed end. Now, I like the pointed end for where the wire will go in, because it, again, it, it, the point that's in it, it, it gives that nice, neat finish. If you want to use the sleeves, it goes over much easier and it, it's a much better, it just looks better. As well as that, I use the quick lock uh, um, snaps and the reason I use the quick locks and I like the quick locks is there's nothing worse than on a cold day trying to open a snap swivel. It, if your fingers are cold, it, it can be a nightmare. With these particular swivels, you don't have to do that. Basically, you have a small hook on the side of it, you get your, your swivel or whatever you want to connect to it, and you literally click it around and it's on. And the same to remove, it's so simple. Bring it around and click and it's off. They're, they're just an amazing snap. Uh, it, uh, I don't use anything else myself now. On the hooks, then. Hooks are, again, uh, lads prefer, some lads prefer owner. I, lo I like the honor hooks. The fox hooks are pretty good hooks. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, we sell quite a lot of them. Uh, again, Pipe Pro, we sell a lot here. But do buy a good hook. It, it, you know, the, the hook is the most important part of the whole system and uh, invest wisely and get your hooks. I use size sixes and fours. These are sixes we're gonna tie up here today and uh, they do probably 90% of the work that I need them to do anyway. Then we have sleeves. Again, these are all optional. You don't need to buy these. They just make the trace look a lot tidier, more professional, fi professionally finished. But as well as that, what they do is they tend to cover any edges or bores on, on the wire that's sticking out from crimps and so forth and stop you snagging up weed and pulling up all sorts of debris and, and rubbish coming in when, you, when you're reading it in. So again, I'm going to put them on just to show, show you and it, it, it's up to yourself and what you want to use them going forward. Now, tool was the, the, these again from, from Fox the, for cutting the trace wire. I mean, they, they just cut it like it's a piece of thread. It's nice and clean. There's no bores, there's no strands bulling, um, bunching out and, and splintering all over the place. It, they're, they're an essential piece of kit if you want to get a nice clean cut. Then, of course, the crimp pl crimping pliers. This is the Fox one. They, they come in all different brands. We, we, we have them in the Fox Rage as well as the, the Fox uh, Standard Pike Range. And uh, they just make, the, make the, the job so much easier. You can't actually use crimps without them. There's no point in getting an ordinary pliers or anything like that and trying to crimp. It, it, you will get slips. You will get line to pull through. These are designed specifically to close the crimp and lock it on two pieces of wire and uh, a worthwhile investment. Now, all that said, 
we get into the trace, making the trace. I personally prefer a trace that's a minimum of about 18 inches, mate, 18 inches long. And a shorter trace with a, with a big fish, if the fish rolls, he's going to come up onto your nylon and if you snap, you're leaving everything in the fish and it's, it's, it's just, one, you've lost the fish, but more importantly, you've left hooks and everything else in the fish. 18 inches minimum, some lads up to two feet. If I'm trolling off the back of a boat or anything like that, I'll use up to five feet trace. And um, th there's reasons for it. it, it does actually does actually work. So at the moment, we'll pull this out to about, again, you have to remember, you're gonna be crimping here, but then you're also gonna be wrapping on the hook. So for an 18 inch trace, I'm gonna pull about 20, 21 inches thereabouts of, of Carboflex off the spill. Cut it clean. And here's the part now where people start to panic when they how, how to get the, the center hook or the the, 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 tr the middle hook, if you like, to lock without sliding or you know without slipping on it in any way, shape, or form. And it's it's a very easy way of doing or system to do. It's just a little bit of practice and you'll get there. So first of all, we just take out a hook. And on this trace, I want the hook to be about between three and four inches long, between each other, a gap between them. So if I want it four inches, I'm going to allow a half inch here for folding for the for the uh, for the crimp. So we're, we're, we go about three and a half. We go we even a four is going to give us a three and a half inch approximately. Right? So we run the run the, the wire through the the eye of the hook, bring it down to about where we want it, just four inches or thereabouts, and then hold that tight. Okay. Now, I've gone through the top of the eye here. Or the line, the, the wire's going through the top of the eye. What we're going to do is going to hold the wire, make sure everything's right, hold the wire tight between the thumb and finger. And I'm going to bring the wire up and over one of the, the bends of the hook and pull it and hold that tight then. And what we have there is we've, held, we've, we've looped the line across the, the, the barb or across the, the shank. Now, I'm going to wrap this around the, hook, the, sh the, the shank of the hook four times tight one two three and four and then i'm going to hold it there with my finger and i'm going to run the line back through the eye through the top again and here be careful here don't pull it don't go mad on it you don't want it to kink you want it to pull through nice and neat and then you get both line, both ends and pull and your hook is perfectly in line and it won't slip okay so that's your that's your first hook on simple very simple, straightforward. Then we're, we're going to see, do we want to put a sleeve on? I don't always use the sleeves. If I do, this is the time to put one on. If we're gonna, I'm going to use it for the purpose of the, the video. Just put the sleeve on first. Then put on a crimp. Okay. And now we're going to go for our next hook. So again, you just split these here. Careful not to bury one in your finger or your hand. Now, simple. Straight through the eye of the hook. Don't bend it and kink it at this stage. Just keep it supple and just let it bend over naturally, okay? Because again, you don't want to cause any kinks. Any kinks are going to cause problems and weak spots in the line. By, call, by just looping it over, just bring it through the, the, the swivel again. When you see it coming out the back of the swivel, just as it comes out the back of the swivel there like that, you can start to tighten up on the, on the main, pulling the main one back, the main trace here to give you back your length that you wanted. Okay, but just making sure that you don't pull the tag out. Pull it up, tight to the, to the eye of the hook, as tight as you need it, like so. And here's where you get, at this stage is when you crimp. Now, the crimp employers, you'll see it the, the, has the tooth on the top, the groove on the bottom. Keep the groove on the bottom and place the crimp into the groove. When you place it, just close the, the, the tool up and make sure that the whole crimp is in under the groove, okay? On both sides, make sure everything is nice, nice and neat. Now, with with this system, when you're using a crimp employers, you only get one shot. If you try to crimp the same crimp more than once, you're going to break the crimp. It's going to snap, and it's 
you know, sometimes you won't even know it, but it'll have cracked and that's the end of it. So it's one very, very firm squeeze. You'll hear the knuckles cracking on your hand. Open and she's crimped. If you try to crimp that again, it's going to break. So don't, don't try and do it. It, it. it just won't work. Here's where this little baby comes in handy as well. Again, I should say. You'll see the small little tag end sticking out there. You don't want that. That's going to pick up. It's going to pick up any sort of debris, rubbish, weeds, anything like that. You, you just don't want it there. So you just go into the side and cut it off clean. Okay. Then we get our little sleeve. Pull the sleeve up. Over the crimp. And over the oil hook. Just over the, the, the oil like that. Okay. Now, again, you can put another sleeve on here if you wish to cover the other hook where you done the wrap. Again, just to make it more professional looking and neat and tidy. Personally, when I'm making my own, I don't use the bottom one. I just use this one and it does be fine. Now, the last piece of the of the whole trace is the easiest of all. Get one of your anti or your, your sleeves, your rig sleeves, your um, trace crimp cover as it's called. Put that on first. Then get another crimp. Put the crimp on and then your swivel. Again, if you're using the fox swivels, you have a narrow end and a round end, a pointed end and a round end. Use the pointed end to go onto the, onto the wire. Just through. Don't, at this stage again, don't kink it, just put a nice soft loop, just enough to get the, the, the wire through the crimp. When it comes out the end, you'll see it there, the tag end. And just pull gently up onto the swivel. You get it up as far as you want it to go, which is very just make a small the smallest loop you can in it. Get your crimp employers again, crimp into the bed. Make sure that the crimp is inside oh, the teeth. And one squeeze again. Just one good hard squeeze. Get your colours, take your tag end off and run your sleeve down. And this sleeve, because you've run the pointed end of the swivel, the sleeve will go on over the actual eye of the swivel as well now. So if you look at the whole system, it's, it's nice and neat and straight through. Now, there's your, your trace made up. It's at least 18 inches now at that stage. Very effective, very easy to make. And all you need then for, to, to store that is a rig tube. I don't actually have one here, but a, basically a rig tube. You, you catch the, the, tra the trailing hook into the, the phone, wrap it around, and just pin that. And that's gonna be safe and ready to use as soon as you take it out on the day and everything is still straight and nice and neat. Okay, now that's your standard basic rig that will do most baits, sort of three and a half, four inch baits, thereabouts, or five inch long baits, and that's the sort of setup.